Panthera tigris, Soloensis, an extinct subspecies of the tiger we know today, once roamed the Pleistocene Sunderland region, a territory that maps onto what we now call Southeast Asia. This intriguing creature was not just any tiger. The Ngandong tiger was one of the largest cats that ever lived, with a body size comparable to that of a small horse. The discovery of the Ngandong tiger is a tale steeped in intrigue and adventure. It all began in the early 20th century when Dutch paleontologists, working in what is now Indonesia, unearthed a trove of fossilized bones. Among these were the remains of a tiger, but not just any tiger. This was a tiger of monstrous proportions, the likes of which the modern world had never seen. The Panthera tigris soloensis was one of the largest tigers that ever lived, comparable in size to other large prehistoric tigers, such as the Wansian tiger. Although one individual of the tiger subspecies dubbed the Bornean tiger may have exceeded it in size, these giant cats would have exceeded 400 kilograms in weight, comparable to the mighty Smilodon populator or American lion. The tiger was christened Nengandong, after the site where its remains were discovered. Jump to the 21st century. Thanks to advanced technologies and methodologies, scientists learned more about the environment in which the Ngandong tiger lived. It wasn't just about the tiger. Sundaland, its habitat, was home to a myriad of large megafauna. The stegodons, a genus of proboscidean or relatives of modern-day elephants standing tall and mighty roamed these prehistoric forests. Gigantic prehistoric bovines, the Bubalus, also shared the land with the Ingandong tiger. Southeast Asian rhinos marked their territory on these lands too, all under the watchful eyes of the tiger. Early humans also coexisted with the Ingandong tiger, navigating through the dangers and beauties of the Pleistocene era. This was a time of extreme climate shifts and extensive mammalian extinctions. Yet amidst this diverse fauna, the Ngandong tiger found its place, adapting to the changing environment, becoming a dominant predator and possibly making a meal of any of these inhabitants at any given time. Panthera tigris soloensis also would have shared its habitat with a wide variety of competitors. Besides early humans, the Ngandong tiger also shared its habitat with prehistoric hyenas, as well as machairodontine felines such as the Hemimachairodus, an extinct genus of saber-toothed cat that would have occasionally encountered the giant prehistoric tiger. However, based on its sheer size, the Ngandong tiger was likely at the top of the food chain. Gradually over time, as the climate began to change, sea levels began to rise, shrinking the size of the Sundaland region. Over time, all of the giant prehistoric cats faced increasing environmental pressure. Sundaland would eventually transform into a variety of smaller islands, and as a result, would have been unsuitable for such a large predator. This environmental change would eventually give rise to newer but smaller subspecies of tigers, such as the Sumatran tiger, Bali tiger, as well as Javan tiger. These smaller subspecies of tigers would have been better suited to the smaller land masses we now call Indonesia due to their lower dietary requirements. Despite the Ngandong tiger's demise, some of its close relatives still live among us today, inspiring the stories and legends which hopefully will remain with us for future years to come. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, as per usual. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more prehistoric mega beast related content. Until next time, this is King Theropod, signing out.